If you're a comedy fan, this upcoming festival is for you. Hosting more than 200 shows in venues across the city, the SF Sketch Fest will have you laughing with their major comedy stars and the best up and coming acts from the Bay Area and beyond. To tell us more about it is SF Sketch Fest co-founder and producer, Cole Stratton. Cole, thanks so much for joining hey, us thanks today. Thanks for having me. Excited yeah. to be here. Yeah, so excited to talk about one of comedy's most prestigious acts, right, here in San Francisco. Brings so many people from all around the country here to San Francisco. Tell me all about SF Sketch Fest 2024. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's over 200 shows, over 18, 19 days. We go through February 5th, and uh, it's all sorts of comedy. It's improv, sketch, stand-up, TV and film reunions, tributes, whatever you can think of. It started as just sketch comedy. We found it out of college and then just kind of grew it out and just made it all sorts of comedy stuff. So mm -hmm. it's going to be pretty insane whirlwind for the next week or two. As one of the co-founders, why did you originally want to create something so big like SF Sketch Fest? Well, we definitely didn't aim that high when we started it. <laughs> uh, we all met at San Francisco State where we were students. We were in a comedy group together there called Totally False People. We did sketch comedy. There wasn't a lot of venues to do that in. You couldn't really do it at a comedy club. They're like, what are you doing? And then theaters are too expensive to rent. So we rented a theater for a month with a bunch of other local sketch teams and just called it a festival, just to have an angle. Um, and the Chronicle ran a story on it back when like print, like actual print print was a major yeah. thing for you. Um, and we just sold everything out. And so we were like, well, maybe this is a thing we can do. And then the next year we got Upright Citizens Brigade and Fred Willard to come and then just kind of kept growing it out from there. And then somehow it got to be <laughs> 21 <laughs> years later, like the biggest yeah. independently run comedy festival in the US, which is- That is incredible. Oh my gosh. Can crazy. you run that back one more time? It's the what? The 21st. Yeah, wow. well, oh 23 if, if we had kept going and didn't have that two-year break that everyone Yeah, had. right? But yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, 21. So for you, what does it personally mean to be able to see something you started out in college now grow to something, like you said, one of the biggest comedy tours in all of the United States? It's pretty insane. Like, I still don't really believe it. Like, I don't know how we went from that little thing to this big thing. It just feels like it just happened all of a sudden. And I know it didn't. We had our growing pains like anything else did. But it's pretty gratifying just to know that we something we just did is just, like, crazy college comedy fans just ended up being a in a bit of an institution I and mean, Fred Armisen called it comedy summer camp which is something we like to think of it as too even yeah. though it's in the dead of winter and it's very cold <laughs> uh, but yeah it's, it's pretty crazy to think that it's become what it has yeah well I'm so glad that it's become what it has and like you said 20 some years later here we are some of the biggest names in comedy tell me about who people can expect to see at Sketchfest this year well it's pretty nuts like we get a lot of our heroes here like that we kind of pinch ourselves that we're able to get um, our opening night is tonight at the Castro with Eric Idle from Monty Python it's crazy to get a python here. We had Terry Jones a few years ago. This is our second python. Mm -hmm. Trying to collect them all. It won't happen. <laughs> uh, but he's doing a sketch show, and he's you know he's in the 80s now. Like He's not going to do a lot of these. It's live performance with sketches and mm -hmm. songs and stuff with Jeff Davis from Whose Line is going to be there doing it with him. So that's a crazy way to open. We have a lot of our heroes, the state, kids in the hall. Paul Giamatti's coming up. We'll make sure to have some in and out for him backstage. Mm -hmm. um, so good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Freestyle uh, Plus, which is an offshoot of Freestyle Love Supreme that Lin-Manuel Miranda made where they just kind of improvise hip-hop stuff on the spot with Bill Irwin there who's like this big Broadway legend yeah. as a special guest and just kind of everybody from like TV and film and a lot of big stand-ups Maria Bamford, Mark Maron, uh, people like that. It's gonna be pretty insane. And how long does SF Sketch Fest go on? Because it's not just the month of January. It, it, we go through February 5th so it, we have shows every night but Mondays. Mondays is like when we try to take a deep breath. and then Mondays is like the relaxed days, right? Right. Well, it's probably just catching up on whatever <laughs> we can get around to before that but um, yeah. yeah it's pretty insane the amount of stuff that we have happening at once on a Friday or Saturday night there's you know a dozen plus shows going on at the same time all over town at different venues and I'm glad you mentioned that it's it's going to be over 200 different events all across the city so what different venues can people come and check some of the comedy out at yeah we're at a bunch of places um, you know Cobbs and Punchline if you want to go to a traditional of club of course yeah uh, the Castro Palace of Fine Arts uh, Great Star Theater which is in Chinatown it's an amazing venue Gateway where we've been since year two it's the only the longest running venue for us, mm -hmm. um, The Marsh, uh, we're all over the place. It's pretty great American Music Hall. Mm -hmm. So pretty much if it's a live venue in San Francisco, odds are we are dipping our toes in it this year. <laughs> so much fun. And why was it super important to be able to involve all the different types of comedy? You said there's sketch comedy, stand-up comedy, TV and film. 
Why is that important? Well, initially it was like there was a finite number of sketch things we could do. <laughs> so we thought we'd need to break this up, but we just love anything funny. And we even just do like some weird stuff just because like yeah. we, we have a lot of live, uh, music events this year. Michael Shannon, who, you know, is a great actor. He and his friend Jason Arducci are covering R.E.M.'s first two albums live. Like, what is that? It's going to be fun. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so things like that too. And, yeah. and, and I still get to get up on stage sometimes myself, which is a lot of fun. I was going to ask you. Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah, say, yeah. do you still do comedy sometimes? I do. We have an improv team called Theme Park. We've been doing it for years. Janet Barney, who's another co-founder, we're both in it. And it has uh -huh. kind of a bevy of improv heavy hitters, Simon Helberg from Big Bang Theory, Oscar Nunez from The Office, Michael Hitchcock, who's on mm -hmm. Christopher Guest stuff. It's Rachel Dratch usually, though she couldn't make it out this year. Um, it's always a lot of fun. Just kind of turn the producer brand off for like 90 minutes, go yeah. do a fun show, and then you know, see how many fires I have to put out on the phone when I get off stage, but it's always a lot <laughs> oh of fun. Oh my gosh, the life of a comedian, yeah, right? right? Oh my goodness. Well, what is, speaking of comedians, what's some of the feedback you've received from them who travel all across the country just to be at Sketchfest? I think what they like about it the most is, is because of the sheer volume of what we're doing, they're all in like the same rooms and populating each other's shows of other comedians and friends and actors that they don't see unless they're in a movie or TV show together. Mm -hmm. They're all in the same room and they just have a, the, a blast just kind of performing on each other's stuff and um, seeing people they just don't normally see. Like it's mm -hmm. pretty insane sometimes the amount of like comedy heavy hitters you have in one room at the same time. And I think that they just love that too. And also like we, we nurture a lot of up and coming stand up and improv and sketch teams and stuff like that too. And like, they're all part of the thing. They're all in the same room with these people. So there's a lot of yeah. cross pollination and um, you know, they just have a blast every year. That's why we have the same people that come back year after year after year and that always like want to be here. So it's great. I just love the comedian supporting comedians. I think that is so important. So if people want to get involved in the sketch fest, I know you said it's going on from now through February. Yep. How can they do so? Yeah, you can go to ssketchfest.com. The schedule's there. Um, just take a look at stuff. Click on something if you're not sure what it is. Everything's interesting and fun. Um, and if you want to perform in the future, we do let uh, people submit and stuff, usually in the summer for the next Falling Festival, too. So if you've got an itch to get on stage, too, we do like try to nurture new talent coming through. I love that. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. And we yeah, look forward you. to all of the month of January and February being fun. Thanks. <laughs> of Very course. Much.